Hey guys, CYHD here, and I'm back with another Christmas reaction video. And uh, it's I Love KP a Lot Day Once More. <sighs> yeah, we're gonna react to two of her videos, and they're called My Little Reviews, Hearts Swimming Eve, and My Little Reviews, Snowdrop. Yeah, of course, I do re remember reacting to Snowdrop and everything wrong with Snowdrop in two minutes. Yeah, so I'm pretty much looking forward to see what, um,. <laughs> I love Kim Possible a lot thinks about um Snowdrop, but we're gonna see the Hearts When You Eat video first. So let's get this video started right about now. I love Kim Possible a lot. Oh yep, yeah, Rudolph. And L in front of the Here. other Santa comes comes to town. You want the moon? Just and the what is this? And throw a lasso around it and pull it down. And, then the who's down the and it's the Grinch who stole Christmas. And who is it? Goggles. And Kim Possible? <sighs> Alright, let's do it. Okay, oh! I like a Buffalo Line Christmas special. Wait, was this me? Was this video uploaded in 2013? Well, every pony, it's that time of year again. Yep, it's Christmas. Oh. Christmas! And I'm Will Ferrell. Christmas! All your Christmas related endeavors. And there are so many holiday classics that I know and love that I want to talk about. How many awesome Rankin Bass specials or corny live action movies are there to cover? Yeah, Frosty the Snowman. So fun. Wait, this is a pony review show YouTube channel thing. And that means I have to keep it related to ponies. Yeah, of course that you have to. That would be A&Y, right? <laughs> Legend of Korra? Isn't there only one MLP Christmas themed anything? Yes. Arts Woman Eva. Well, let's get on with the most predictable Christmas review yet. That predictable episode being the MLP Christmas special Hearts for Me Eve from season two. I'm going to need a drink. Yep. So the episode begins the catalog. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that was a good episode. Six to do the annual Hearts for Me Eve play. Ha, derpy. Derpy. That's <laughs> our intention because let's face it, this episode does the thing, you know, in cartoons, where they want to show an episode that happened in the past, and the present main characters become. And more can possible. <laughs> yeah, that. Either in the context of the show, this is a great coincidence, or Celestia knew that assigning every pony their parts. Celestia knows everything. This video has nice Christmas. Anyway, sound getting into the episode, in the background. it's interesting to note that Celestia and Luna had a spike, <laughs> but it still shows that they were alicorns before Discord came into power. It tricks me as odd because it raises all these questions that everyone has already discussed. Uh. Christ. And all the pony OCs. So the three types of pony are getting along due to differences and stereotypes, and then they have a meaning about it. Seriously, the Unicorn King sent his daughter? He couldn't have bothered to show up himself? Anyway, and Rarity. One of the points of interest here is Clover the Clever. She said she's Star Swirl's apprentice, right? But then it's implied by Celestia that Star Swirl was her student, unless she was speaking from a historic point of view in Magical Mystery Cure. Good so point. why does that leave Clover the Clever? Was she next in line if Star Swirl failed? Did Celestia actually tutor Star Swirl? Yeah, on this channel I did a review on a the um, anyway, it's end of season the 5 finale. Anyway, it's land must be found. Because this blizzard, man. So each tribe searches far and wide. Pokemon. To uh, Pokemon. The power that's and finally, <laughs> land is You gotta found. add that Pokemon theme song. This new land to be. Dirtville. Dirtville. And we have. Uh, I don't know what. Oh, Home of the Rage! As it turns out, the Blizzard has mysteriously followed all the leaders there. They get trapped in a cave together, and I guess yep. the ridiculous all of them point get trapped in the cave. Over rocks, because rocks are sexy, I guess. Uh. <laughs> now, these Wendigos are an interesting concept. You seriously? They demonstrate, at least at this time, that not everyone is aware of the magic of the continent. Like, the magic of no the continent? that the cause of these problems were the anger between these tribes, and not just the weather? This is interesting, because it makes me wonder what they discovered between this time and the present. Eventually, all the leaders are frozen, and the sidekicks realize that fighting isn't the best idea to solve their problems. 
Yeah. Obviously, this chick isn't an alicorn princess. And yeah. some singing later, yeah, the warm heart. Resolved. So the plane comes um, up, and then the main six so have the to find to each other. Besides the play not having any relevant history in relation to the sisters, or, you know. Well, where the fuck is Discord? It's interesting to know how the question was <laughs> Seriously, you gotta add that scene from the Equestria yeah, Girls um, review oh, video? Well, still a cool episode. I'm just waiting for my Alicorn Princess Clover. Yeah, that was kinda loud. I she was the Alicorn Princess. I hope that didn't hurt your ears. Tuesday. Conspiracy theory accepted. Um. <laughs> Uh oh, is Jack Skellington there? Oh, Discord. Discord, Did put the lights really back on. Do you think that your body little channel could review an equestrian history episode without my help? I've thought of many ways to sabotage this review, but alas, none of them really meet my expectations. Okay, Discord's kind of scaring me. The writers thought you might want to turn the lights back on, Discord. Episode You're frightening her. Consideration. I mean, really. Wait, I've got the perfect idea how to fix this. Somebody play some track, would you please? Wait, huh? Sorry, I love the Grinch. You're a loony, Mr. D. You're a loony, Mr. D. Are a mess. A parody of the Grinch theme song? You're a cotton candy cloud with chocolate Wow. You're a demon. Yeah, Discord was a demon. Your chaos causes fear. With your silly, painful jokes, you bring all ponies to tears, Mr. Oh, what? D. I wouldn't touch you with a... That was really mean. Making Twilight day. cry. You're a psycho, Mr. D. Yeah, Discord was a psycho back in season two. Are all you have all the tact and humor of a pony that's insane, Mr. B. Hey. You're an old wilted daffodil and daisy sandwich with chaotic sauce. Chaotic sauce. You're a scoundrel, Mr. D. Goodness gracious, how long is this video? Your heart is full of candy corn and chocolate. Candy corn. Hearts, Mr. D. D. Yeet. Given the choice between you, I'd take the pony that's insane. Your <laughs> Discord's sister, daughter. Mr. D. You're the king and lord of pranks. Pranks, eh? Your heart's a sour lemon filled with curdled custard tarts, Mr. D. D. Your soul is an inverted treehouse, covered up with the most illogical assortment of tricks and treats imaginable, riled really? up in chaotic knots. Okay, is the song over? Intimidate us, Mr. D. With your creepy vile smile, you're a crooked master teaser and a pony joker jerk, Mr. D. D. The three words that cluster okay, stuff. Can sign me over, please? And I quote: Cad, Cad, Mad. Wow. Happy holidays, everyone! Oh, is, oh, is it over? She said. But really, can you believe that Megan McCarthy wrote me to forget Fluttershy's name? I mean, I would never, ever do that. I know some people said it was a joke, but it was in poor taste, in my opinion. I mean, the taste I in your opinion? to be good when the elements of harmony aren't in play. 
My friendship with her must be pretty strong, but yet McCarthy seems to forget what my real motivation is. I mean, really. Hmm. Remember, I love Kim Possible a lot. guys i'm gonna get the next video started and i'll be right back you guys okay we're back and i got the next video started i mean i got the next video up and ready and we're gonna react to Mallow reviews snowdrop let's start the video in three two one okay let me start three two one start Wait. Nope. well it says snowdrop in the title so we're still fine. And there's Rarity. Sleigh bells ring. Are you listening? <laughs> In the rain. Rain. Pinkie Pie. Snow is glistening. A beautiful sight. We're happy tonight. Is that Discord we're talking? Walking In a winter wonderland. And there's Twilight. He's the blue bird. Here to stay. He's a new bird. He sings a and there's Compossible's house. As we go along. Walking in the winter wonderland. Walking in the wonderland. Twenty fourteen. So I'm assuming this video was uploaded in twenty fourteen. <sighs> Excuse me for a moment, guys. Sorry about that, guys. My cat was at the door and he almost tried to get in. So let's continue. Decorated. <laughs> it's perfect. Okay, then American Everything Dad. Perfect. He's got a shiny nose. Shiny. Uh, might even say it glow. Do you spin a dreidel made from clay? Mine is called a dreidel and it's rigged to make you pay. Okay, that's Futurama. And Charlie Brown. Well, Happy Pony, it's that time of year again. Uh -huh. gotta make and there's I love keep you a lot as Rudolph. Dreidels. What? Do you not know what a dreidel is? <laughs> Just look at the shiny is nose. Hanukkah or Hanukkah? Hanukkah. <laughs> <laughs> Angelica. Where the kids gather around and like just 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 Google it. Good thing I have a multicultural education. Dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. I made you out of clay. clay. Dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. You've been been spinning all day. Okay, Cartman. Never mind then. Good for you, young lady. Please continue to tell the story of our people. It all started when. No, it's no. It's about Snowdrop, away. dude. And it being that time of the season, I gotta do a Christmas special because it's tradition. Yep. Of course, it has to be a Christmas special because. It is about the holidays. So when do we get to see the part where she reviews Snowdrop? Wow, we're sure jamming the Jew jokes in here. That's what I'm here for, Boobala. Anywho, 
So we had to get creative with this one, guys. It was between this and Winter Wrap Up, even though it's not a Christmas episode, oh, no one cares. I could have gotten away with it. If it weren't for you, Medley! Okay, oh, Scooby Doo. Here you go. Here's your Christmas special, you crazy kids. Snowdrop. With apologies yep. to Sleepy really Studios because um, Basically, I'm probably studios. gonna butcher this. But before we begin, let me get into character. Okay, continue. So we open what? with an establishing shot of Ponyville Little Snows with Celestia, well, not Nicole Oliver, but the fan VA, narrates. Huh. Well, the setting is pretty good, but as a side note, like, do they not know it doesn't yeah, have that to snow to be pie. Like, think of Florida. I mean, I'm sure it's snowing, but that's probably because of all the old people danger. Oh! Gross. We then go to a okay, flashback then. with Pegasus School. Well, not that one, but another one. So we find out the meaning of winter through exposition. Woo! And I will say, as a fan idea, this is kind of spot on. It works. As in, the soil needs time to rejuvenate. No, no one cares. Okay, then. <laughs> so we cut to the subject of the evening, Snowdrop. I like it when the teacher is approaching her. She's kind of like, yo, you should have been dumb by now, bitch. Oh. Hey, isn't it your fault for not keeping <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty rude. A teacher would never say that to a student. Kids are picking on her. Like, what do they teach at the schools? Listen up, class. There's a blind pony that we need to keep an eye School on. We also have to be super mean. Snow blind. They're waiting out there with snowballs. Just a heads up. It might get pretty brutal. I know it's supposed to isolate Snow, snow White and get the audience to sympathize with her. Snow but sometimes drop. This unbelievable ah. and downright cruel. Oh well, I guess times be different at Questria back then. Where's the love and tolerance when you need it? Anyway, so okay, the yeah. like, fuck it, let the blind pony go in the blizzard. Oh, could did you just the snowdrop in a trash can? So we then cut to Snowdrop struggling about what she can do for a project that she obviously made up an excuse for. Oh, whatever. We get some exposition about stars. When you wish upon a star, make no difference who you are. Okay, Anything Pinocchio. Your heart desires. Also, bonus points for, you know, the mother just, like, now being a thing. Way to pick up your daughter from school and, like, care about her, you know. Heck, everybody's <laughs> mother's like, oh, there's Snowdrop, she'd be milking around the clouds again. Whatever. There's a thing. That's not what she said. She oh, said it was coming from inside because it was really cold. <laughs> and more Charlie Brown. May I help you? And I know Snowdrop wants to make a difference. I know. This part makes it obvious. But she kind of put this on herself. I yeah, we do remember that part when she those makes a so bad. I'm sure star out of her own tear, which turned into a crystal. Life? Whatever. This part either works for you or doesn't. If it does, it gives you feels. If it doesn't, it's because you get the vibe that, you know, this is trying too hard. I'm kind of in the lather camp. I don't know. Um, but it is a nice part. I mean, I like the little sound effect when the stars twinkle as well as how the backgrounds move. Nice touch. Oh hey mother this chick, match. thanks for noticing, derp. So we then cut to the derp. <laughs> fade, whatever. What was that? And of course that girl has to make a scene. Uh, Wait, huh? nah, nah. I stole your skateboard and I'm gonna ruin your wedding. You won't Wait, be huh? finding anything tonight. Also, bonus for Derpy's relative. I think hey, the scene is the strongest. Derpy part. reference. The animation is nice, but the scene does the most to tie back the themes of appreciating something people usually don't. The idea about tying snowflakes with equestrian mythology and drawing on already established character traits that Celestia and Luna have. Do you see it? Or no? One thousand years later, it, and then you don't. Snowdrop is dead. He's dead, Jim. Um, Wait, sorry, what was that? Spoiler. What was that scene from? So as Luna and Celestia have a shrine built in the memory of Snowdrop. Is this like a museum or something? Oh, yeah. I if they charge the to go yeah, we do yeah, remember that there, funeral scene from Memorial. Snowdrop. No flash photography, please. And she found out that she was dead. Don't touch. Anything. Okay, Aladdin. Time to get on with your lack, Luna, and then credits. So even though this video is kind of ripe with lack of character exploration and let's yeah, it was kind of sad Dark when Snowdrop dies as a little girl. As a little characters. girl. This animation is pretty solid, and the mythology and some of the character exploration with Luna is interesting. So, not bad, guys. Aren't you gonna tell them the meaning of Hanukkah? <laughs> no. No, this is no. not that. She's not gonna well, tell you the meaning of more. Hanukkah. I'll have to give your eight presents to your brothers. Brothers? I like those. Fine, fine. Um, friendship is magic? <laughs> this is why you should go to Hebrew school more often. <laughs> Hebrew school? 
Oh, that was it? That was a short review. Uh, yeah, that was uh, a pretty cute video, I gotta tell you that! <laughs> Wait, I didn't get to do that. Yeah, thanks to Silly Philly Studios for making that animation. Thanks for watching. Yeah, you're welcome, girlfriend. You're welcome. Went to Wonderland by John Delancey. Edited by I Love Kim Possible a lot. Subscribe to see, see more videos like me. Yeah, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and my Tumblr, and my Patreon page. Oh, there's still more? Once upon a time, in the magical land of Equestria, mm -hmm. there the Discord princess... And there's a lot of well, impossible she's one. got to be a princess to make this oh, work. where'd she go? Well, she ruled in bliss and created harmony for all the land. Kinda. Oh, Today, okay. she used her powers of comedy. Thus, the Discord princess maintained balance for her... Discord princess, subjects. huh? All the different Wait, types of ponies. Like the princess of Discord? Even the rainbow but ones. But where is Discord? Talk about exactly. But as time I don't get it. Her audience became resentful. Surely this holiday special would be better than the last. But screw it! We tried! <sighs> wow. Calm down there, Celestia. Every pony. Finally, it's over. <laughs> well, guys. Yeah, those two videos were funny. I gotta tell you that. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys, and ahoy!